Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. Dear everyone, here, we will discuss XRP. Everything is starting to speed up right now, therefore I will discuss a little bit about cashless society. So, CFTC regulation of all cryptocurrencies is something that billionaire Mark Cuban wants. Even though I had previously criticized the SEC for trying to drive the cryptocurrency business out of the nation, I had maintained that the CFTC will protect individual investors in the future when it came to crypto rules. However, rules will undoubtedly be enacted. Furthermore, I believe that the restrictions in the US will be quite similar to MICA, so looking at it can give you a good idea of what they will be like here. Startling fact of the day, the US economy has lost $2.1 trillion in surplus savings since August 2021. Following the $4 trillion stimulus, an additional $2.1 trillion was saved between March 2020 and August 2021. As of March of 2024, American households had spent through their savings, which had been steadily declining since then, with a monthly loss of $70 billion. Meanwhile, the average American's credit card debt has increased by $330 billion, reaching a new peak of $1.1 trillion. At the same time, U.S. savings rates hit a new low of 3.2% in March, down from 3.5% in February and the lowest level since November 2022. Nowadays, most view savings as a luxury. Just like I mentioned in numerous of my videos. You might lose all of your savings if they succeed. People were taking money out of their 401k, S+, there are others who are investing in crypto alongside those who are putting their money into gold. However, many regular folks are simply spending their money due to inflation. That is also occurring on purpose. A large Australian bank is moving towards entirely digital payments, and all of its branches are going cashless. This is scheduled to take place at Macari Bank on May 20. Additionally, this will be implemented at each of their branches. I can tell that many of you are Australian subscribers. Is this bank the only one? On the other hand, are other financial institutions pulling in the same way? To be honest, I had assumed this would happen years later. If you have a UPI-enabled bank, Ripple, Bricks, or Dollar account, you can use it to send and receive money using QR codes and avoid using cash. And eventually, this will start to change everywhere. I knew it would take a few more years, but I've been stating it for quite some time. However, this is currently being prioritized. More than one-third of American workers are worried that AI would lead to their job loss or salary reduction. As I mentioned before, we can also discuss AI. Even among non-crypto folks, some are beginning to get the idea that AI has the potential to displace them from their current positions. And give it some thought. To see the results of a $20 minimum wage, just look at California. Many fast food restaurants have already automated some of their processes. We may expect to witness the advent of AI in the next year or two, which will dispense with the $20 per hour. We are entering a new season of crypto, and AI will still be evolving. That is also the reason why this is happening. People in the US claimed nothing like this was occurring when I initially brought it up. This is taking place in the United Kingdom and Europe. For American citizens, what is the significance? A hundred dollars a month, with no conditions attached, is what 11 states call a guaranteed basic income program. A universal basic income is being advocated for. A perfect storm is brewing, first, artificial intelligence will take center stage. Then, digital money will be introduced. This will lead to the simultaneous push for universal basic income and digital ID. Everything is falling into place just as we predicted. There will be no more garage sales, no more street artists, and no more street performances if there is no money. They just desire a cashless society in order to tax all money, this means that even minor tasks will now be subject to taxation. They also want less control over our spending. After all the money you've spent runs out, you'll see how much better off you are, especially in a world where the government is meddling with your purchasing habits. Having said that, money is crucial. In the eyes of many, there are a lot of folks who would prefer to work under the table than pay taxes. 
Plus, waiters and waitresses prefer cash tips since it reduces their tax liability. However, that is precisely why they will advocate for digital currency. This is also the case for the new forms that the IRS has begun to distribute. If you engage in transactions involving digital assets, such as cryptocurrency, you should be aware that the Internal Revenue Service has introduced a new form that will require more information than before. This form will inquire about the type of transaction, exchange, sell, or purchase, the amount of the transaction, the date of the transaction, the address of the digital asset broker, and the fair market value of the digital assets at the time of the transaction. I believe this is due to their insistence that we soon be able to conduct direct crypto transactions, for example, you may get a cup of coffee online and pay with your digital wallet loaded with cryptocurrency. That day is almost here, and I believe the IRS is aware of it. Then they're getting ready for it. Right now. Rumor has it that our thugs in the US are holding out for a major event before launching the CBDC. There are several stages to an IT project in the United States, including development, retail, wholesale, and intermediate. Currently, the project is under development. I do recall, though, the time when we were in the very lowest, most passive stage. And it was only a short while ago. It was the same when I initially launched my YouTube account. Consider how much progress we have made in several of these. Nations. Showed up. The debut of CBDCs in Nigeria has taken place. This year, we will witness the launch of CBDCs in several nations, like Jamaica and the Bahamas. In the run-up to the election, anybody who doesn't believe they will attempt to force one out. That's incorrect. In my opinion, that is something that is now being considered for implementation in the US. Well, that concludes our video. As always, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe and leave a comment with your opinions. Muchas gracias, depart.